Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to continue creating this fake Spotify and I'm going to create the other two main pages. So right now we're on the home page. And so I'm going to create the search and the library pages that are going to serve as the base for the rest of our site. Now the reason I'm doing these other two first is because those are what we have linked in this navigation down here. So I created these three hotspots and we're going to be linking to all three of those. And then the fourth one is going to be the individual song page. All right. So just checking the time. Okay. Three, two, three, four. So the quickest, easiest way that I know of to do this is just to hit control D that's going to duplicate it and do it one more time. And now what we want is we want to keep these controls and we want to keep this top header part, but we don't want any of this content. So I'm going to select, oops, I'm going to select the content. <laughs> Maybe you have to double click. There we go. Double click and delete it. And then I'm going to rename these so I don't get confused later on. So I'm going to double click this, change this to search. Double click this, change it to library. <clears throat> All right. And yeah, I'll do one more just for the song. Okay, so what I want to do is bring in the other images into this. And I notice there's a little spot right there. That's the hot spot that's left over, left over from here. There's probably one right here as well. So we can delete those as well. All right, so what I need to do is get the images that I downloaded from Google. So here they are in this folder. So the next one is going to be search. So it's actually going to be search-stitched.png, which is what I want. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to drag it right in here. OK, there it is. So to get this to the right size really quickly, um, I know that the width of this layout, when I click on it, when I click on the title, is 375. So I know that's what I want the width of this to be. So I'm going to click on this. W for width, change that to 375. And I know that the X and the Y, I want it to be 0 and 0, because it's going to be right up in there in the corner. So now it's perfectly placed. So now all I have to do is adjust the height of this frame so that it fits uh, the full thing. So if I click on the frame title and then drag the bottom edge, it's actually going to take that controller, the footer with it, since it's attached to the footer. So that's all there was to that. And now I'm going to do the library. So I'm not, I'll just show you another method for bringing images in. So if I want to bring another image in, I'm going to click that little triangle and then click place image, or you can press control shift K and you can just upload an image. So the next one for the third frame is going to be library. So I have one for music and one for podcasts. So we're going to do music first. So upload that. I'm going to click right here in that corner and actually it put it inside of that my top bar. So I didn't want that. So let me try that one more time. So I'm just going to click slightly below it. And here it is. It's being cropped, but obviously it's very huge. So all we have to do is go up to X set to zero, Y set to zero, width set to 375. And there you have it. So now I'm going to click on library and then just adjust the bottom edge right there. All right, so now one for the individual song. So control shift K, this is gonna be 06 song. So I'm clicking here. Same deal with the position. Okay, and now I'm going to click on song, so the title of the frame, and drag that bottom part up. And actually there is no footer 
frame here on the individual song page. So I can click on that and delete it. And then I'm going to click here, drag up, and there you go. All right, so now what I want to do is link between these pages. All right, so I'm going to double click on my footer so that I can select this home button. And over here, I want to switch over to the prototype menu. And when I do it, it automatically adds this little white dot. So I'm going to drag this. Actually, just the home goes to itself. So right now, that's not going to go anywhere. But then the search, we want that to go to the search page. And it brings up this menu. So on tap, navigate to search, and then have it be instant. All right, so easy peasy. Now I'm going to click on library, drag that to the library page. On tap, navigate to library, instant. Now I'm going to have one of these navigate to home. And again, on tap, navigate to home, instant. And hopefully if this all worked correctly, hmm, sometimes they all just like interlink to each other. So, okay, that one. Okay, so now I just gotta make sure these are all linking to each other. So I'm gonna click on that library, link it to that. Looks good search so it's on itself so and then home make sure that navigates to home okay so as long as two out of three on every page are linked we know we're good so now we just need yep so these are all linked and at the bottom we have this album art so all of these are going to link to the song page so I'm I double clicked and then I'm just going to drag that to here. And, but this time, I think when the song page comes up, instead of being instant, we actually want it to slide in from the bottom. So I'm going to choose instead of instant, go to slide in, and then click the up arrow, and it gives me a little preview animation of what that's going to look like. And I'm going to make sure we do that for this one as well. Drag here. Slide in, up, okay, we're good. And then this one too. And these are gonna go to the album page, not the individual song. So let's just do a quick preview and we'll, we'll call it a day for this video. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do all the remaining pages. Okay, home looks good. So if I click search, it takes me to search. If I click library, it takes me to library. And then, ah, looks like the search isn't working on the library page. Now if I click the album art, yep, it brings the album art up. All right, cool. So just do a little cleanup here. Okay, we're just going to make sure this, this goes to search. And it looks like it does whatever the most recent transition is. So I'm just going to set that back to instant. All right, so that's it. Stay tuned for the next video.